Today is November 1st, 2019. I'm Ethan Wolf Stelzer, an asteroid almost hit on Halloween, and we've got the details. And I'm Kelsey Mayhew. The crows are back in Nampa. The news is next. We have a couple traffic related issues lately. First, if you have a senior spot and you haven't painted it yet, then expect someone to park in it. Second, if you ride a bicycle to school and you are arriving before dark, please make sure to have a light and some kind of reflective clothing. If you don't, you can get a ticket. Just a reminder, the first quarter is over and the semester ends at Christmas break, which is December 20th. Math tells us that with a Thanksgiving break of one week, we have six weeks before the end of the semester. Be sure to keep caught up in all your classes because break will be here before you know it. Ladies, are you interested in playing basketball? Tryouts start Monday right after school, so take a chance and try it out. Today's activities, College Week continues. We'll be right back after this. ...to discover in the forest. Toothless, time to go! What you picking up on, bud? It's a whole hidden world of wonders. And the perfect place to spend time with family. What better place to let your imagination soar? Experience nature and create a memory you can share. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest or park near you. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make yours a great one and see Dr. Keller today. All right, for today's weather, we'll have a high of 49 and a low of 19. And tomorrow, we'll have a high of 49 and a low of 21. Back to you, Mayhew. Thank you. Earth got a Halloween scare. An asteroid was spotted in the early morning hours Thursday by three observatories. According to data from these early observations, the asteroid came closer to the surface of our planet without actually colliding with our atmosphere than any other close approach in NASA's database of known near-Earth objects. Simulations show the asteroid passing above southern Africa within 3,852 miles at the moment of closest approach around 7.45 a.m. To get an idea of how close this is, consider that many telecommunications satellites orbit at an altitude of 22,236 miles. Last year, between 3,000 and 5,000 crows flocked to densely populated areas of Nampa. According to city officials, the birds have returned. Many of the largest roosts were in areas in or near Nampa's downtown, including the Fred Meyer parking lot near Northside Boulevard. Employee Clara Trott said the crow population got so high near the store last year, she saw police outside the building one night trying to scare them away using drones. These strategies saw mixed results. Tactics such as using infrared lasers, drones, and decoys were successful when tested. Other efforts like deterrent sprays were not as promising, officials say. The SAT word of the day is meat, which means to distribute by measure to a lot. You could use it as a verb like this. At lunch, the folks in the cafeteria meet out lunch. That's the news. Thanks for watching and remember, live, live the, the wildcat wild way. way.